And a CBS News poll, New York Times poll out this morning, asked Republican voters who they would like to see run for president. 41% mentioned former Florida Governor Jeb Bush. Mm -hmm. That GOP rating is higher than anyone else's. Texas Republicans will decide on Tuesday if Bush's son should be nominated to run for state land commissioner. Chip Reed spoke with George P. Bush, who represents his family's fourth generation in politics. Chip, good morning. Well, good morning, Nora, Charlie, and Gail. George P. Bush told me that he caught the political bug as a teenager, but his grandmother, Barbara Bush, took him aside and said, you can't run for office on the fact that your name is Bush. You've got to go out and establish yourself in another career first. So now, at age 37, Bush is just beginning what he hopes will be a long career in politics. When George P. Bush stepped off his campaign bus in Midland, Texas last week, the first-time candidate looked like someone who's been in politics all his life. We're glad to have you back. And in one sense, he has. His father is Jeb Bush, former governor of Florida. His uncle is former president George W. Bush. Please join me in the... And when he was just 12 years old... I pledge allegiance. He led the Pledge of Allegiance at the 1988 Republican convention that nominated his grandfather, former President George H.W. Bush. Now at age 37, after a career in law and real estate and service in Afghanistan, he's decided to join the family business. What did uh, George W. Bush tell you when you said, I'm thinking about jumping into politics now? He's always thought that I'd, I'd be good at it. Um, but in terms of um, doing it for the right reasons, that's what the consensus was, whether it was him or my grandfather or my dad, is you've got to do this with a servant's heart. He's running for Texas Land Commissioner. The office manages the state's oil-rich public lands. But in his stump speech, he sometimes sounds like he's got bigger things in mind. The values of our state are, are under attack, and it's being led by one man and one man only, and his name is President Barack Obama. Do you ever even allow yourself to envision yourself, imagine yourself as president someday, the third Bush president? I don't. I would love to be a public servant to this great state, and um, I would like to leave everything on the field, give 110 uh, percent to the state, and we'll see where, where it takes me. Bush says his goal is to appeal to all Republicans, from the mainstream to the Tea Party. He's a strong supporter of business and deeply conservative on abortion and gun rights. His mother was born in Mexico, and he says most Hispanics are, at heart, conservative. La próxima vez. He's frustrated with the Republican Party's failure to reach out. We don't need to change our conservative values to win the Hispanic vote. We need to change our tactics. With young George jumping into politics and his father, Jeb Bush, contemplating a run for president in 2016, George's grandmother has recently taken on the role of family naysayer. Your grandmother, Barbara Bush, uh, has said, and I'm not quoting directly, but enough Bushes already. Well, I had a chance to visit with her after uh, her statement, and she said, well, uh, I may have been talking about other Bushes, but not the next Texas Land Commissioner. Uh, but, <laughs> nice, but, but Very nicely done. And she clarified her statement after the fact was to say that I think he would make, or my dad, Jeb Bush, would make a fantastic president, but there are also, you know, other great people. But she also said she hopes he doesn't run. As well as that. And and so... Do you agree with her on that? No, I, I think uh, my, my father would be a fantastic president. You'd like he, to see him run? I, I would personally um, like to see a strong conservative voice um, rally this party together. Like your father? Like my father. Watch the, uh, Bush says there's one big downside to running for office now. Time away from his eight-month-old son, Prescott. And how long will it be before he's out here helping you on the <laughs> campaign bus? Hopefully sooner than later. Start him young. <laughs> Now, one factor that Bush will have to consider if or more likely when he decides to run for higher office is the fact that polls show the nation is still suffering from Bush fatigue. One Republican analyst who's followed the Bush family closely for years told me it could be another decade or more before that ceases to be a factor. Charlie, Nora and Gail. All right, Chip Reed. I remember him at the convention. It's nice to see how he's grown up. Yeah, that's we a big job, Texas Land Commissioner. Very, very powerful. Yeah. We haven't seen the last of George P. Bush, I'll bet you. Thank you, Chip.